Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to recreate GTA 6 title animation in AfroFX. I just create a new comma and rename it as main. Using type tool, I am going to type a test. Right click on the test, create, create shape some test. Let me place this outline layer in bottom. Go to effects and presets and add a CC radial fast blur into the shape layer. Set a keyframe for a amount at the beginning of the timeline. Change the amount to 0, go 2 seconds and change the amount to 70. Go 4 seconds and change the amount to 0. Change zoom to brightest. I will select all the keyframes and easy ease. Go to effects and presets and add 4 color gradient. Change color 1 to pink, color 2 to orange, color 3 to orange and color 4 to pink. I will place these anchor points close to the test like this. Add glow to the shape layer. Change glow intensity to 0.2. Let me rename this as FX and test. Create another copy of test layer and rename it as stroke. Let me hide the test layer and shape layer. Click on this small rectangle box right here. Right click layer styles gradient overlay. Under gradient overlay, click on edit gradient. Change color to pink and yellow. Style reflected and increase the scale a little bit. Change the test layer and change the color to black. Let me hide the stroke test layer. Under chest, Animate stroke width. Set a keyframe for stroke width at the beginning of the timeline. Let me increase the size until where you can see the stroke lines. Go a few frames forward and change the stroke width to zero. Set a keyframe for opacity at the beginning of the timeline. Change to zero. Go a few frames forward and change the opacity to 100. Let me set a keyframe for opacity in here. Go a few frames forward and change the opacity to zero. Select all the keyframes and easy ease. Let me add a video on the timeline and place it below the test layer. Change track map to test layer. Let me increase the end keyframe for opacity a little bit. Copy the four color gradient based on video. Change blend mode to hard light. Precompose these layers. Rename it as this video. Go to rectangle tool right here. Draw a mask like this. Set a keyframe for mask path at the beginning of the timeline. Go a few frames forward and adjust the mask like this. Ease both keyframes and increase the mask further to 50. Now I'm going to add a GTA PNG file. I will put a link in the description, you can download from there. Increase the scale size. Let me place this image in here. Using the rectangle tool, I am going to mask the image. Set a keyframe for mask path at the beginning. Go a few frames forward and adjust the mask like this. Increase the mask further and ease both keyframes. And that's it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls. You can download this free project file, link in the description. And thank you for watching.